How do you see the relationship between Sharia and Norwegian law? And the what? And the Norwegian law, in general terms, is there, is there a conflict? Okay, the Sharia commands you to respect and abide by the law of the country that you are residing in. This is the Sharia. So if you're living in a Western country, such as living in Norway or living in Australia, then the Sharia commands you that you abide by that law. And you cannot take the law in your hands. Or else you leave this country and go and find the country that is implementing Sharia. But if you do really want to please Allah Azza wa by following His Sharia, by following His way, then you abide by the country or the laws of the country that you live in. This is the Sharia and this is what the teachings of the Sharia does. What we can do also, since we are here and abiding by the laws of this country, okay, we can inshallah preach Islam and bring people to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, invite them to this beautiful religion. You know, don't forget at the end of the day, you know, countries like these countries opened its doors to you so you could live in peace that you did not experience in your own country. And countries like these countries welcomed you and your family and even financially supported you and gave you a home to live and dinner you know, money they could, you know, shelter yourself with and food to buy. At least we should appreciate, you know, uh, the, the people that are generous to us. And Islam teaches us to be generous in return to those who are generous to us. And uh, not to be uh, cruel towards those who have been nice to us. So Alhamdulillah, you know, we should appreciate and be grateful towards those who have been kind to us, whether they're Muslims or non-Muslims. And we know that here in Norway, this country has been kind to you, even though you disagree with some of the things uh, that uh, they speak about Islam and so forth. But our duty as Muslims is we thank those who helped us and at the same time try and give them the best, the best gift that uh, you know, we have in our lives and that's the gift of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. This is the best gift that we could offer to others. is for them to taste that beautiful taste and peaceful taste of Islam. Shock, the shock.